Hello? Hi, Mom. You want to know how to do what? Hi, Mom. Let me show you two different ways to attach files to an email you're writing in the Apple Mail application. The first is to use the Attach button up on the toolbar. If you don't see the Attach button or the toolbar, go to the View menu and select Show Toolbar. And now you'll see all these options here. If you click on the Attach button, you'll get this finder-like window where you can choose one or more files. I'll pick this one and then click on the Choose File button. If it's an image, you'll actually see the image here, but for any other file type, you'll just get this little placeholder that tells you the attachment is there. Also, if you decide to delete it, it's just like a letter. You can just hit your delete key and remove it like that. So let's try the attach again. This window starts off small and it ends up they've carefully hidden some really handy features down here. You can scroll down to see them or just do like I do which is drag this window a little bit bigger. So you'll see they've got this search for today and yesterday and past week so you can find files that have been changed recently that way. Or my favorite one down here is if you click on photos this actually shows you your iPhoto library without even opening the iPhoto application. You can browse a few different ways. I like browsing by events and then I can look at this event and pick one or more files and then click choose file and there they are. Now you'll also notice that when you add images, unless they're really small, you'll get this new section down at the bottom where over on the right it says image size and you've got a few options here. What this is, is the mail application actually will automatically shrink your images so that your email uh, size is smaller. And over here it tells you the size of your message. So with the images in small size it'll be 140 kilobytes but if that's too small I want my you know recipients of this email to to see more detail I can change it to medium or large and you see now the message is up over a megabyte so I'll set it back to small okay let me start over here and I'll show you the other way to attach files. Ignoring the attach button, you can actually just drag and drop files into your email message. You can drag them out of the finder or right off the desktop like this. Or you can use this photo browser and that brings up a little mini iPhoto window where you can pick and just drag files out of there. Finally, if you happen to already have iPhoto running, you can drag right out of there. Like that. Oh. If someone tells you that they can't view or read your attachments, try putting them all at the end of the message. You can do that manually, or if you want to force it to happen on all your messages, go up to the Edit menu, select Attachments, and then check the Insert Attachments at End of Message option. From now on, regardless of where you put the files in the email, the mail application will attach them to the bottom. Okay, have fun sending files to all your friends.